What's up? Okay, I just arrived in Venice. Uh, I came from that train station right there, and I've just walked in here. I don't know where to go at all, so I figure I'll just walk around and <laughs> I'll see what happens. This is just a quick look of, you know, the very first thing you see when you uh, get into town. So you would know if you've followed this YouTube channel that I haven't been making videos for a while, so I thought I'd just, uh, while I walk around Venice and show around, I'll just tell you what's been going on. Um, yeah, I, I, I guess uh, I would just say I, I had some bad times, really. Uh, I, for the past year or even more than a year, I was working on a business project and it really just uh, didn't work how I wanted how I wanted it to and it just uh, that, that just kind of rocked me a bit really you know it's, t it's tough to admit that you know when I'm um, <laughs> usually uh, you know you go through your life trying to <laughs> say good things and like things are going good things are going good but honestly it just uh, didn't go good it didn't go well and uh, just um, put me in a bad place I guess you would say so yeah basically what happened was um, you know about a year and a half ago I um, you know, I'd been in touch with this one particular guy for quite a long time and I was expressing to him, yeah, I've got this particular problem, like with my business at the moment, I just, like, I can make, you know, good, do, I can do copywriting well, but I just have a problem, like, getting traffic, getting the, getting the promotions from affiliates and stuff like that, and he was like, oh man, no worries, like, totally, like, bro. I'm all over that shit. I've done that a million times. Like, I can totally do that. <laughs> so we were like, okay, let's like make a company together and we'll, um, you know, we'll make it do a really long term thing. Blah, 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 blah. Fast forward. Um, you know, th this is my perspective. You know, it's, there's always multiple perspectives, but my perspective is my, I did my part and he didn't come through on doing his part. Plus, um, for some reason, I don't even know why he decided that he didn't want to even do the company anymore. So, you know, that, that was really just shitty for me. It just didn't work out. Um, that project can still be like, I'd say it can still be financially pretty nice, but just not as nice as I wanted it to be or I thought it would be. So, it just kind of made me, uh, you know. So, over the past couple of months or so, I've just been, I guess just reflecting, I would say. Yeah, reflecting is probably a good word. And just trying to figure out what I'm going to do next. Um, I was pretty glum, you know. I, I'll tell you, like, just like, you know, because I wanted to, uh, you know, I was looking forward to this working. And then uh, and making a bunch of YouTube videos about business and stuff like that. And when it didn't start to started to not work out I was like how the hell am I gonna get on camera and talk about business when I've just had this horrible failure <laughs> so yeah like just the the idea of like even opening up my uh, you know YouTube analytics thing and looking at comments or like even starting to make a video just gave me this like gut reaction just like oh I can't do it so yeah but uh there, there's a few things that uh, help me just like come around Let's just take a look here. Ooh, the suspense. What, what was it? If you've never had gelato in Italy, it's pretty special. Not not every single place, but it's very, very good in some places. So, um, yeah, a few things that help me is uh, are I've been reading Atlas Shrugged. I'm about two thirds of the way through it. It's, it's really good for uh, for mindset. It's just really, really fantastic. Um, I don't even, I'm not even gonna give it away. Like, there, there's something about that book. You, you don't give that book away. You don't tell people what the, the discoveries are to be made. You just don't do it. It's a, it's a very special book, so you, you really need to just check it out yourself. It's fantastic. Um, it's a complete ideology in a book, and I mean, I'd already read The Fountainhead, and I already knew I liked that. But uh, the Atlas Shrug just takes it to a whole other level. Um, just read it. Just do it. Um, the other thing is, I just started to like. 
because I was having like I guess pain inside I, I just had to like learn more about emotions and I was you know looking looking up like how the different emotions work and like what triggers them and how to resolve them and blah 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 because you know I had this like whirlwind of like ooh, really just like ooh, horrible emotions in, in me like I, I had like you know this cocktail of like revenge anger like disgust at how someone could act that way um just like despair i guess like what am i gonna do like just so and so frustrated and it was all just like whirling whirling around inside of me so yeah i just did a bunch of research and learning about how all that kind of <laughs> how that whole thing works and um i'd say probably the third thing that um helped me a lot just in the past week is I went on a uh, I went on this um I guess you would call it like a retreat or a, like a intensive workshop or seminar or something like that with this uh, Austrian guy called Egwin Ertl he's like a movement expert He'll disagree with that. He'll say, I don't teach movement, I teach consciousness. But to me, he teaches movement. Um, and, you know, he's, I just spent a week like learning these principles of movement and how to like consciously interact with my body and all that sort of stuff um, from someone who's studied 40,000 hours doing all sorts of martial arts and Tai Chi and Qigong and studied a lot of a medicine degree um, and knows all the all the biomechanics of the human body, he studied Alexander Technique and all this sort of stuff, just knows everything. Just had all the answers I was looking for, it was just incredible. Um, so, that, that really helped me physically, so, you know, Atlas Shrugged helped me mentally, the emotion stuff research that I did myself just helped me emotionally, just how, how, to, how to just understand what was going on and the, the stuff from Egwin. I'll put a link in the description, by the way, um, just to, to something. <laughs> If you just want to find out more about, you know, like, just movement and, I don't know, um, physical, like, tightness and stuff in the body, just, just see whatever I put down there. I'm not sure what I'll put down there yet. So, yeah, mentally, emotionally, and <laughs> physically, just uh, feeling better from those, from those different things. And, yeah, I mean, it's like, uh, at the same time, I've just... <clears throat> I've been thinking, like, what am I going to do next? What am I going to do next? <clears throat> and I've uh, really... Oh, geez. <clears throat> I don't know, I've just really figured out some, like, really cool approaches that I want to take. Like, I'm I'm really looking forward to just being a 100% owner of my business from now on. Just, just like, it's my thing now. It's me. Um, not, like, not, like, partnering with someone else who's kind of, like, a senior partner and my almost my boss or anything like that. I'm like, eh. Hey. Get out, of, get out of town with that. Um, and I, I also like just learned a lot of marketing principles just by seeing like this concept of like how you can work on something for so long and then it just not turn out how you want it to work. You know, that, that made me think like, how can I do marketing in a different way that there's not this like long build up process and you know all this planning and pre-work up to this big launch how can i how can i do marketing in a way that you know, things start happening straight away and getting results straight away um so i'm going to be teaching that stuff over the next um whatever i'm, I'm just going to be teaching that stuff um and sharing what i i'm going to be sharing all the lessons that i learned because like you know this this was a project that went on for about a year and three months or something like that so I've got so many like lessons that are based totally in experience and um, you know like implementing something and seeing how it worked or didn't work and then learning what to do better so there's a lot of good stuff coming anyway I guess I'm I'm back baby and yeah yeah tune in for the videos I'll see you soon all right later <laughs> have a good one Thank you.